No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking! <laughs> Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Come on in. Just stoke the I don't fire. think you were following. Take a seat Come on, cold I have a plan. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. The Thalmor Ambassador, Ellen Wim, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Ellen Wen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you, but he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. Hmm? Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've gotta go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. <laughs> Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck.
fellow latecomer to Ellen's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less, I salute you, my good lady. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this god's forsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. I prefer to Thank you, ma'am. Go now right then, in. Here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped in my thigh. So... Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to run in Cork the... There's Arinthia nobody Red. to hunt down the bandits. Of Travel course. Has become dangerous I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. I'm not sure. My apologies. Close. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Is any smith going to compete with that? One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. Oh? Something interesting, I hope. I don't know. I don't want to do anything that might offend Ellenwyn. There is a lot of money at stake, after all. <clears throat> well... <laughs> anything to relieve the boredom. As long as it doesn't get back to me. Just play along. How dare you! You disgusting pig! What? I didn't... Hmm? No, listen... The whole office will hear of this, Rosalon. You're a disgrace to the East Empire I mean Company, and to the Empire itself. Rosalan, and you promise to behave yourself this time. Remove him. Let's go. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. This is an insult to the dignity of my person. This time, I'm completely innocent. Let me do the talking. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. That is absolutely untrue! Uh, that is... Yes, of course. What? I don't understand... Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. It's been some time since Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. What have you heard? Good Did luck. You see those robes? You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissaries' treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages, just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon. Is someone there? This what you want? God, another.
I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses. What was that? Silence. Yeah. You're most useful, but dis you. Is someone there? Huh? I told you, I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? What do you want then? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Come on, this way. I've seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. It must lead somewhere. I damn well hope so. If it helps you twist them up, I'm glad to help. They're after some old guy named Esburn. Something to do with dragons. I gathered it from listening to them talk when they thought I was out. I've seen a guy in Riften who they seem to think is him. Not much to go on. I don't even know where he lives or his name, but they seem pretty excited about it. That's it. Now, let's get out of here. No problem. Thanks for springing me. I owe you. Look me up in Riften if you make it out. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately, or you both die. That takes care of that. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. 
Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Ask around the Ragged Flagon in the Ratway. It's at least a good starting point. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. made it. Good to see you, my friend. I'll never forget how you saved my life from those Thalmor maniacs. Lot of people looking for him. Don't know his name, but he's paid good money for nobody to know he's down here. He's holed up in the Ratway Warrens. Hardly ever leaves the place. Has someone bring him food and such. Crazy old coot from what I've heard. For that to stand out down here, he must really be off his nut. All right, then. Not me, I'm not Esbern. I don't know what you're talking about. Delphine? How do you. So, so you finally found her, and she led you to me. And here I am, caught like a rat in a trap. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. You'd better come in and tell me how you found me and what you want. This will just take a moment. Bucket. This one always sticks. There we go. No, no, no. Only a couple more. There we are. Come in, come in. Make yourself at home. That's better. Now. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? What more needs to happen before you all wake up and see what's going on? Aldwin has returned just like the prophecy said. The dragon from the dawn of time who devours the souls of the dead. No one can escape his hunger. Here or in the afterlife, Alduin will devour all things, and the world will end. Nothing can stop him. Ah, I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Fools. It's all come true. All I could do was watch our doom approach. Yes, yes. You see, you know, but you refuse to understand. 
Oh, yes. It's all been foretold. The end has begun. Aldrin has returned. Only a dragonborn can stop him. But no dragonborn has been known for centuries. It seems that the gods have grown tired of us. They've left us to our fate as the plaything of Aldrin the World Eater. What? You are? Can it really be true? Dragonborn? Then... Then there is hope. The gods have not abandoned us. We must... We must... We must go. Quickly now. Take me to Delphine. We have much to discuss. Give me just a moment. I must gather a few things. I'll need... Uh, no. No useless trash. Where to put my annotated annual? One moment. I know time is of the essence, but mustn't leave secrets for the Thalmor. There's one more I must bring. Um, well, I guess that's good enough. Let's be off. Yes? What is it? Yes, yes. We should proceed cautiously. Delphine, <laughs> why, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend, too long. Well, then, you made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. This way. Now then. I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragonborn. Indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let... You see, right here, Skyhaven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Wall to set down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? Either of you? Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. 
Part history, part prophecy. Its location has been lost for centuries. But I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Carthspire in the Carth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately. Attract less attention that way. Don't worry, I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Carthspire. Good luck. Orgnar, this is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Well now, that's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Orgnar. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You'll be safe. Come from.
looks promising. Yeah, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades left in our way. Here's the Blood Seal, another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt it's triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered Reman Siridu? Akaviri bar reliefs, almost entirely intact. Amazing. You can see how the Akaviri craftsmen were beginning to embrace the more flowing Nordic style. We're here for Alduin's wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more time to look around later, I suppose. Let's see what's up ahead. Shaw's bones, here it is. Alduin's wall, so well. I've never seen a final example of early second era Kavir sculpture and relief. Hesburn, we need information, not a lecture on artistry. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Look, here is Aldrin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Aldrin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against their dragon overlords, the legendary dragon war. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory. Mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to Dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Look here, in the third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. 
Here are the Akaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled, as the last dragonborn contends with Aldred at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. Did you need something? You're in luck. There is a blessing the blades used on the eve of battle. It's supposed to prepare the mind for slaying dragons. I doubt the blessing's effects would last for very long. So ask whenever you're heading out, and I'll perform the proper rites. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. That's all. Sky, guard you. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Yes, for matters of such gravity, we need to know where you stand, or who you stand with. The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. No, I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. But not Dragonrend. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it, but I am not the one to speak of it to you. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way.
will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. To Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinvak with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dova King. I have spoken. The Rotmulag waits. A gift, Dovakin. You'll understand fire as the Dove do. Now, show me what you can do. Greet me, not as Elf, but as Dova. The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sos, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, 
I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Yes, they are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the Dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome, as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Prusa as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monavin, what you name Throat of the World? But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Varucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Hmm. Yes and no, Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin. But this was not enough, Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm. 
How to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwatlan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. So far, Suryek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. May ye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Krosis, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Mm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag, the words of power. I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue, but as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is force. 
Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. This better be good. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Or are you just someone's errand girl? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. What about... Wait, are you? Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Fight well. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Aye, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't seen him in years, and we were close. Became obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. Dig, Dwemer in the beyond. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Elder Scrolls, indeed. The Empire, they absconded with them. Or so they think. The ones they saw. Ah, the ones they thought they saw. I know of one. For Sequestered. But I cannot go to it, not poor Septimus, for I, I have arisen beyond its grasp. Here. 
Well, here as in this plane, Mondas, Tamriel, nearby, relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep, Tower Mzark. Oft-hand, the point of puncture, a first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. Two things I have for you, two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings, but empty. Find Mazark and its Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the lore upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. I know you were trying to keep it for yourself, Cesar. You always try to keep it for yourself. No.
Nazis, brother. Another of the soldiers, you're dead.
Astra! You want me to leave? Just waiting for me to turn my back, so you can have all the glory for yourself. Mercy! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 